Hi, my name is Odd, I'm Ulster Knight, and welcome back to Spontaneous Let's Play Tales of Symphonia. I walked into the item shop because I figured I'd stock up on stuff before I started recording, or rather before I uh, started commentating. Uh, apparently a scene is going on, so let's see what's, what's up with Cacao. Chosen one, everyone, please tell me what has happened to Chocolate. She is being a sassy teenager and I don't much appreciate that. I'm sorry, it's my fault. Because of me, Chocolat is... What do you mean? I... I... Marble was... Lloyd saved Marble when she was assaulted at the Icelia Ranch, but... Five hours later... I see. I didn't know such a thing happened to my mother. I'm sorry, I... I was prepared for something like this the moment she was taken away to the ranch, but Chocolat was very close to her, unlike me, who is her daughter, which, I mean, aren't they usually closer, but... What has become of Chocolat? She is alive. She was taken away to a different ranch, however. I promise I'll rescue Chocolat. I won't let her become like Marble. I swear it. I will continue to keep the sword going, for her sake as well. Please, save my daughter. I'll save you, daughter, but only after buying stuff from you. Alright, so now that that's been done, uh, what we need to do now, I guess, is that we need to go to the Renegade base, but first... <laughs> I did it again, I pulled a skit. You look unhappy, Prisea. No, I'm the same as always. I'm really upset. Really? I mean... Prisea, I'm just like you. I, too, have problems concerning dead people and, like, what are you talking about, Mythos? I'm alone, too. I think there are a lot of people in this world like us. Alone. Scared. Afraid to wake up for the morning that comes when all that's left is just an empty husk. No, you're wrong. You, too, are not alone. I like you, Mythos, and Persea, too. When you're lonely, I want to be with you. I only want to be with you. They're crazy, but it's true. <laughs> Genius, thank you. You're right. I have you and the others with me. Mm. Power of friendship, lads. That's what's going on here. Power of friendship. But I... No, that's right. We're friends. Thank you, Genius. And now Genius is going to go on Reddit and post to like r slash friendzone or whatever about how he's been totally friendzoned. And uh, but nobody's going to like it very much. As they, do, you know, usually don't. This is not the way I need to go. I need to get out of this town and I need to get straight over to the Renegade base. So I'll do that. See you soon. We have to go to the Silverant base. Oh, we can just like, oh, we can skip go. How nice. Let's do that right away, because, I mean, there's nothing else important we need to take care of right now, anyway. I'll wait here alone in the desert in the blazing heat of the sun. I want to be alone for a while. I usually also go into the desert, but I want to be alone for a while. Ah, no, it's not about the flute. I'm sorry. All right, it's dangerous, so don't leave this area. I won't. Then, while we're at it, let's return the Riard that Mythos borrowed. What? Oh, yes, please do. He's gonna have an old British guy voice now. I just decided. You're back! Ewan, Boda is... He died. Yes, he asked us to tell you that he completed his mission, which was dying. I see. And then we'll activate the dimensional transfer system. You may go between the worlds as you like. Is that all you have to say? Boda gave his life for the Renegades, and... Lloyd, it is not our place to speak. This guy has been with that... This guy has been with that Boda for a long time. Nothing we say will make a difference. Fine. I'll accept it. Oh, yes, I almost forgot. Our companion borrowed a Riard from you, so we'll return it to you now. Borrowed one of our Riards? We haven't... What's wrong? No, it's nothing. We'll take it. 
Ask the control room staff about procuring energy for the dimensional transfer system. I'll be over here, uh, doing paperwork in the meanwhile. Ewan, I'm sorry. All of our Rios are still in our hangar. What is going on? Oh shit, did Mythos go, uh, go AWOL? Did he, go, did he do a rogue maneuver? Did he just pull a Rayard out from like an innocent bypasser? Anyway, uh, it's now operational, this will allow to travel between two worlds. It will fly above the airspace of the Silveron base or the Stethiala base. Yup, yup, yup. I've done this before. I've played the game before. Welcome back. You're gonna go back now, right? Yeah, we'll take you to Altessa's place. Whoosh! And then when they were in Altessa's place. Just, just like that. Just straight over. Just, hmm. Great. I like snapping my fingers in case you couldn't tell. Well, Mythos, have a good time with Altessa. You'll come and visit me, right? Of course I will! We're not gonna visit him. Take care! I'll be praying for your success in avenging your sister. Thank you. Avenging Perseus' sister? What are you talking about? Oh, that's right, we haven't told Regal about it. Yep, we sure haven't, have we? Uh, um, hey, you know, that's not a topic we really need to drag out now, right? What are you talking about, Zellos? This is important! Perseus' sister was killed! Killed? Yes, it seems Perseus' younger sister served under a noble named Bryant, but then her master Bryant... He's a monster! How can he kill a child like that? Sister? It can't be! Perseus, what was your sister's name? Alicia. I see. Do you know something we don't know? I may know who that murderer might be. Really? Take me to Altamira. Chop chop right away. Can we go into his house though? Take care, see you again. Yeah, that's fine. Is there anything cool we can get in here? Like, can we steal his stuff? I'd like a cool little shrine here. Oh, it's Microsoft Sam. Lloyd, welcome. Ah, hi Tabitha. What brings you here today? Ah, oh, nothing special really. You've come all this way out to visit us. We must at least show you some hospitality. Nah, no, that's okay, don't worry about it, we won't stay long. Please suck my dick. Oh, acquired X-Gem level 3. And a metal sphere. And an onion! And an X-Sphere shard! That's great! I don't know what we're gonna use that for. I know what we're gonna use it for. <laughs> I have you under my control. I know everything. The master scavenger from some junk. Could it be useful to you? I'm not sure what some of this stuff is, but we'll take it. Thanks, Tabitha. Leave our welcome. Actually, I'm starting to wonder. Maybe her voice was just like me yelling. I can't quite remember. I had a voice for most people. But I can't remember most of them also, so... Altessa was probably just like, I'll take good care of me first, don't you worry. I'm an old man. With a sex robot. That's weird. Why would I have that? Isn't there like a, a secret chef in here? Something? I feel like I've read that somewhere. <laughs> in a magazine. Nah, I guess I'm wrong. Alright. Let's head off to Altamira then. Now that we're suddenly in Tatheala. <laughs> hey, Mythos. I'm watching you. I know you're up to no, you're up to no good, man. You're too trustworthy. And if I've learned anything from Game of Thrones, it's that you can't trust even the most trustworthy. I think. Maybe that wasn't the moral I was supposed to get from it, but I don't really care. We are free to roam wherever we wish now. We can go to the other world, we can go to this world. We're already in it though, so I don't know why we'd go there. But yeah. And we can fly everywhere, so it's really nice. We've, the world has really opened up to us now. Um, and what are we going to do about it? We're going to continue the story. Don't you worry about it, though. There's going to be a point in time very soon where uh, we'll, we'll be pretty... Oh, long range point now. Garach and Flanar, that's good. There's a uh, point in the, his, in the story very, very soon where uh, everything's going to be a bit less linear, I dare say. 
But that's not quite yet. I'm just, if, in case you're wondering what I'm doing, I'm looking for like uh, secret skits that you can sometimes find out in the wild. And no, I'm not kidding. That is, I think I've shown you that, I've shown all of all that already. But like, just in case you forgot that is a thing, it is in fact a thing. Now where is Altamira? Oh, what is this? What is this fancy place? Exire. Ooh, look at this. Have we been here before? I like this, like floating ruin town. Yeah, that's nice. Don't go near that place. This place? Too late, already did it. I cha I'm challenging fate. I'm sure there's this wonder chef in here somewhere. Maybe I was wrong. Well, shit. Is you gonna scold me now for going in there? Don't go near that place. I'll do it anyway. I'm gonna go around his cells though, because I remember he could like pick up stuff just for being a guy. Like, hi, beautiful. You say that sort of thing to everyone, don't you? Ah, uh, well, not really. I don't think. You're a devil. Acquired lemon gel. Heck yeah, free stuff. Yay. I don't know what he's so happy about. Maybe the dog. You know who else is going to be happy about the dog? That's right, Colette. Huff, huff, huff. Oh, you're a choo-choo. That's a... wow. I expected better from... actually, no, I actually I did not expect better from you, Colette. Completely cut off from the surface, and we don't know what the area we're floating over. Huh, how about that? Sir, about the first leader of Exire formed a pact with Maxwell, might have some truth to it. If there was something left in this city that had some connection to Maxwell... No. I see. You, do, you don't believe in uh, the, the powers of Maxwell, do you, sir? Well, I'll just have to show you the way, won't I? First... Hi! You're charming! Oh, thank you. That's a sad reaction. <laughs> well, I got money, so that's, you know... Makes up for that, I dare say. Jeez, man, maybe I went to, to this place a bit too early. I feel like this is some very, very late game stuff. I think I'll just... Oh! I found a Wonder Chef! Yes! Here we go! I am the mysterious one, Gourmet the Wonder Chef. I shall teach you the recipe of a shirt cake perfect for the 3 o'clock snack. Learn how to make shirt cake. Shirt cake requires 3 ingredients, some type of fruit, dick, and milk. Mmm, good. Farewell. The joke is that he's Swedish, and that's what Swedish people sound like. Don't know if he's Swedish though, I feel like he's just a chef. But like, that's enough for me. Now I'm not usually one to talk shit on construction, but this is just not safe. I think if you just fall off here, you're dead? Just like for good? Wait, I didn't mean to do that. <sighs> Never mind, I'll be back there later anyway. Wait, where the shit am I? Where did XR go? Where did the city go? Where did I go? What is this magical teleport bullshit? Am I in Solverant? No, I'm not. What the heck is going on? Found another point of reference, and by point of reference I mean making of long range mode. I did it, guys! I found America! Oh, hold on, here's a skit that is sort of interesting, I think. Now, what summon spirit should we form a pact with next? How about the summon spirit of, like, flipping money, so we can get more dosh to spend on Lewin, who won't even repay us in any way? You were quite confident of this, blah blah, it's all because of Corinne. Corinne gave me courage. Not wisdom or power, though. There will be other summon spirits. Yes, to us he was a dear friend, a trust trustworthy comrade. Uh, don't, don't stretch it. Don't stretch it too far there. We hardly even saw Corinne before he sacrificed himself. And a fascinating research subject! That's the rain we all know and love. There's the ruin maniac. There's the ruin... Ra raving ruin rain. As they call her. As they call her in middle school. I remember growing up with raving ruin rain. Man. Try to make, they try making fun of her, but like... You know, they, she just took it on the chin, you know? Didn't think it was very funny, just thought it was like, yeah, that's what I am, I love ruins, man. <clears throat> anyway, where did you hear about Alicia? At Alicia's grave in the sky terrace of a company called Lazareno. 
I see. Let's go there then. <laughs>